Welcome to Elizabeth's craft room and I'm back again with waterfront I can't seem to um, to leave this um, the stamp set alone that it's just so much fun um, but I thought I would just do a very very simple card today it's just literally um, stamp inks and paper and we like a bit of that I'm going to ink up this big swoosh here um, this is, I'm doing this with Soft Sky and I'm going on to Very Vanilla. And that's making my, my sort of sea come lake, I think. I'm calling it a lake today. And then I'm inking up um, the mountain piece here. And this is with um, Very, um, sorry, this is with um, Old Olive. And then I'm stamping again without re-inking, so stamping off, and then a third time, just to get a little, little bit of mountain going on in there. I want to have the sun behind the mountain, so I'm going to use the most simple masking technique ever, which is post-it note. I'm inking up the sun. Put it half over the post-it note and there's our sun coming up from behind the mountain. And then I'm going to put some trees on the hills there. And these I'm stamping in soft suede just to get a gentle little look there. And um, then I want to put a greeting on and I'm going to put up here friends make the good times better and down here and the hard times easier. I'm going to pop that onto a layer of soft suede and then onto a thick very vanilla background. How simple is this card? How quick and easy to make a card for a friend. You really can do it in moments. But it looks so effective doesn't it? I did one on Whisper White and I used early espresso for the greeting there and the trees. Um, I think I prefer the vanilla one, but what do you think? Do you like this one is a, is a lot more kind of stark and I think that one does come out more muted. So tell me what you think, which do you prefer? And if you would like Waterfront, that is available on my online store. You can find that down below. But thank you for visiting Elizabeth's Craft from today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. No!